You're watching 7 Action News, always taking action for you. We begin tonight with an historic step in the fight against blight in Detroit. Tomorrow morning, Mayor Dave Bain will formally begin the demolition of the Brewster Douglas housing projects. It was the first federally funded public housing for African Americans. Several Detroit celebrities live there. It has now become an eyesore in the city. 7 Action News reporter Julie Bonovich is live in Detroit tonight. Julie, what can we expect to see tomorrow there? Well, Stephen and Carolyn, this will be the first step in this demolition process. And tomorrow, Mayor Dave Bing will be here and the HUD secretary to kick things off. The Brewster Douglas housing projects used to be home to as many as 10,000 Detroiters. Everyone from auto workers and their families lived in the low income housing. Even Diana Ross grew up here. Smokey Robinson visited family here, and Joe Lewis learned to box at the recreation center. But that was decades ago. Now they have become an eyesore with their broken out windows, graffiti walls, and trash everywhere. The buildings have been vacant since 2008 when people moved out and crime took over. But not any longer. Tomorrow, crews will level the buildings as part of a plan to fight blight. Mayor Dave Bing has promised to demolish 3,000 abandoned structures in Detroit during his time in office. The historic buildings will now fall in hopes of creating a better Detroit. So this project is being federally funded about $6.5 million. We'll be here tomorrow for this and bring you much more. Live from Detroit, Julie Bonovich, 7 Action News.